Hey everyone, um, I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, basically, going to focus on how to be a pet tank one slash three for Beastmaster. My next video will be back up tank. So we've started the kill and uh, basically building adrenaline until uh, pet one spawns. Um, what you want to do is just make sure that you um, stand in the right position for pet uh, for the first pet. I'll just speed it up until um, the first pet spawns. Okay, so pet one has spawned, and you can see that I've started in this location and invoked it straight away. Two things that you want to do is put debuffs on the on the pet. So you want to put um, good thick stuff that I've job done, and then I have put in uh, vulnerability on it. So it allows a quicker kill, and the rest of the DPS will be doing sunshines like they are. So it allows a quick, fast finish of the pet. Um, you yourself could also do sunshine, but it's really up to you what you want to do. And on the slot is another worthwhile option as well. Um, okay. Now I'll speed up the kill to the pet two spawns. Okay, so pet two has spawned now, and uh, you can see that I've stood in a fairly d uh, decent position, so I'm not in the way of the pet tank too, away from the dogs as far as much as I can, um, and just DPS is down, and really what I'm watching for is the HP, so as it hits 450k right now is when the third pet will spawn, and there it is in that corner, that's why you can see I separated myself from the group just then, and was looking for that pet in specific specifically, now I'm just going to pause the video right here, and uh, show you how I switch to prey melee because when the pets jump to you within melee distance, they will melee you and they can hit you very hard if you don't prey melee. So that's why I quickly switch to prey melee in that instance. Um, after that, I continue uh, and prey range because it's Kra that I'm tanking um, and stand about this corner. And there's always a chance that the pet will jump off. So in this case, he's going to jump off to Beastmaster. Um, let's, there we go. And then basically you just got to work it off the base tank as quick as possible because the base tank is not going to enjoy two things sitting here at the same time. Um, again, work it and take it well and truly away from the DPSs or they're going to get severely compromised. You can see how they got damaged quite a bit right there by the pet. Um, there, it's not really the spot that you stand in, but it's the angle of the pet's attack. You don't want it to spray sort of, you know, within its acute angle of attack, you don't want BPSs to be standing there. So as the pet tank 3, you want to just, or pet tank 3, any pet tank really, you just want to position yourself so that the um, pet tank doesn't attack the DPSs. Now, uh, you can see here I've asked the DPSs to get off the pet because I realized that with my damage and their damage, they're going to, we're going to lower the pet's uh, uh, life points down too low. And it's important to call that because um, if, you, if you call it nice and early, it means you, it allows you to um, DPS very hard and, and uh, make use of yourself instead of simply just tanking the pet. And then the DPSs can go on to lowering Beastmaster's life points a lot earlier. So basically, ideally, you want Beastmaster, you want the pets to die when Beastmaster hits 750,000 life points. But sometimes the pets do die a little bit quicker, as in this case here, where both pirates die at the same time. 950k is quite acceptable, but ideally, 750k is probably the best, just as it approaches 750k. You don't want your pets to be 100k you know, life points when Beast Master hits 750,000 because that's prolonging his enrage phase. You really wanted to bring it all the way down to pretty much zero by the time he hits 750k. And that's a really important concept that you should know about as a pet tank. Okay, so I'll pause the video and then speed it up for the rest of the... Uh, there's some additional things that I wanted to mention to you guys is to have insight on whenever you can. And the physical distance from your pet to Beast Master the greater it is, the less likely it is to jump away. Thanks for watching.